uh, Max Rapids. And we're portaging around that. That's where it starts. Up in there. Rocky landing here. Uh, 2300 meters. It's gonna test the old guys. <laughs> Here's all our junk. Okay. Okay. Just sat down on that thinking I was being smart with the pack and it crumbled underneath me. We've been up uh, 20 minutes, I guess, coming up a cliff. Oh, more than 20. Well, whatever. <laughs> it's a steep climb, so we're at a rest spot. I think we're going to go back for the barrels. And, uh, yeah, that'll be our rest. Walk back. Do you want water? We just finished while carrying the barrels. Petawawa, the catfish, and that's how far we have to go for the next portage. <laughs> this is about 70, but in the meantime, back for the canoe and the pack. It's time for pepperoni break. All right, campsite number two. Not a bad spot, really. Bottom of Catfish Lake, well positioned to attack Burnt Root tomorrow. Maybe head for Whiskey Jack, because we're behind a day. It's a nice spot, got a little level spot for the tent. The tarp's up to shelter us from the wind. Everything's drying nicely. On the line, I did all that, and Steve's sitting there having a beer. <laughs> Here we are eating the finest tasting bowl of chili I can remember. Oh. And homemade bannock. Sitting out here, watching the sunset. If you could only be looking this way, you would see a beautiful evening. And wondering, does it get any better than this? I don't think so. We can hear the loon off in the distance. Dinner has been served, and now we're sitting on the porch, watching the sunset. And the wind has died down. It is a bit cool, though. All is right in the woods. I don't really feel a need to say anything. Kind of self explanatory. He's become bushed. Oh, and there are fish jump. Tomorrow we go that way. Let's see if I can get up. We will sleep well tonight. <laughs> well, there were some otters here. Let's see if they come up again. Oh, 
there. Oh yeah. And we, um, Yeah, we haven't really given an update in a while. It is 12.10. We are stopped for lunch. We've done, uh, how many portages? Four? Four, yeah. We got one more to do to get on to Burnt Root. And uh, it's a small one, right? 170? And then we're going to, hopefully, cross Burnt Root and go for Whiskey Jack. And there's a couple of big ones there. This is the one we just did. See, they got the, the mileage on that one. This is the one that said 300. Uh, saying low battery. Um, this one was a real rock picker. We had to really watch where we were going. The one before this we actually lined, so uh, that worked out okay. And it was only a 70 meter, but we didn't have to get out of the canoe. Or take our stuff out of the canoe. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope everything's going well at home. Yes, don't worry about us. We did see a big pile of bear poop about 10, 10 feet from the tent. Still steaming. We are on Burnt Root Lake and it is just gorgeous. We passed the perfect site that we should have been on last night, but for the rain. Hung's back there. This is the lake that we thought was going to be the roughest. Yeah. So far it's one of the calmest. It's just gorgeous. The wind's blowing, but for some reason it's not hitting us here. Here we say it's a jewel. The camera cannot do this justice. It is heaven on earth. We're walking back on the portage and as you can see it's not a well-trodden path nor is it an even one. So carrying packs and canoes is arduous. Test the metal of 50 year old men. Although I feel stronger. There's a big tree. Alright, night four on Whiskey Jack Lake. On a nice point. We've got the tent set up. It's been a full day. fire going and Ung's about to put on the stew with nan bread. The sun is setting to the west. My socks are drying and all is right again. It's a nice spot. I think we'll get more uh, morning sun as well. Tuesday morning and we are all packed up had our breakfast this morning oatmeal uh, cranberries and raisins bacon English muffin jam we have a full day ahead of us a few miles of portages it's a pretty morning with the mist coming off the lake. It's pretty because there's no clouds yet. <laughs> Hopefully it stays that way. 
Steve would have brought a weather radio, we would have known. Um, it's cool. It was cold last night, but we were still warm. Further updates along the way. You got that bucket? The, uh, this portage gets us up to the river. And then the eight, we cross the dam and do 850 and reconnect with the river again. We are on what lake? Ramon? Ramona. Ramona. Like the song or the group. The Ramones. Um, I forgot to mention we got away at 8.30 this morning, so we're, we're doing an hour better every day. We just finished the 4.85, which was up and down, quite rocky. And we're heading to uh, 1900, which we are hoping is flat, <laughs> which has not been our experience so far. There are two campsites on this lake. We haven't seen people in days though. We just did the uh, pack in the canoe on the 1930 or 1950 meter Nipissing or Ramona Lake to Nipissing River. He was an iron man. They did it all in one stretch. And there is the Nipissing River. Swirling and foamy right here, actually. <laughs> Maybe some moose around the corner. Off for the barrels. Now it's working. Okay, I had to get the instruction on how to record. Here we are. We finally made it to the uh, Nipissing River, which uh, was no easy feat. We're not really canoeing on the Nipissing River. For portage around us. But uh, let's see, what, we start out in Whiskey Jack today, and then we did 450, 1900 and something, and then another 850. Uh, so, yeah, we still have to go back and get the barrels. Uh, over here, that's the river. Nice little waterfall there, created, I think, by a beaver. Tons, it, the, tons of fish in there. Yeah, tons of fish, Larry says. So uh, that's what we'll be catching them. Look at the size of that pine tree. That there is a pine tree. Look at this. Yeah. That's a big man. She's a big one. Big son of a gun. And over here is a rather Spartan looking campsite, which I think a lot of them might be like this along the river. This doesn't.